Greetings Laddingtons, I'm checking in from the Forest of Enlightenment and uh, I'm checking in with some important wisdom. Yesterday was Father's Day here in good old Sweden, my first Father's Day, a highly joyous occasion. I can definitely recommend everyone to become a Daddington, highly cozy and um, lovable sensation. So in regards to having a daughter, I suppose, this video is primarily aimed at all fathers who also have daughters. We have to ask ourselves a very important question and that is what sort of husbands, what sort of men do we want for our daughters? And then when we have identified what sort of men we want to be available as husbands in 20 years, 25 years, etc. Then we need to start working on a culture which can facilitate the creation of such men. So if we look upon certain cultural outlets today, first and foremost we have the sort of boomer mentality playboy. If someone comes up to me and say, oh I'm so popular with women, I'm so good because I can, um, you know, I'm always hitting on women etc. and I'm such a playboy, I will say like, I will say the following, you know what, get out of my face, otherwise I will illuminate you to the primordial truth. Because I'm not impressed in the least, that sort of boomer mentality. You're a boomer if you think it's cool to be a playboy. That's a, that's a severely outdated view of um, what it is to be cool. Then of course you have also guys who are not masculine in the least. And I don't want my daughter to end up with someone who can't take care of her. If you look upon my ring here, I've named it Unbreakable Loyalty. And I can say this to everyone that I have absolutely zero limits when it comes to inflicting violence and horror on anyone who threatens my family. This is also the sort of mentality I want the husband of my daughter to have, because then I know he will protect her. I don't want some new male who can't protect her. I don't want a weak man who doesn't believe in violence because it's wrong. I don't want that for my daughter. I want a gentleman. I want someone who can I want someone who can treasure her, who can love her, and who can also protect her, being a gentle man. Don't forget the man part, it's very important. So, just as I talked about in the recent video called This Has to Stop. By the way, I only use clickbait titles if it's something important I want to talk about, so I won't abuse it. But anyway, I had to film that, it looked highly epic. So anyway, what I was also going to say is that if you endorse a certain behavior, that behavior will continue. So to take an example, sometimes I am on Instagram's explore page and then I see various UFC fighters pop up, you know, their personal Instagrams. Sometimes I see Dustin the Diamond and he posts a lot with his daughter. Then I give him a like because that is the sort of inspiration for other men I would like to promote. Then, if I were to see some other fighter being surrounded by women in a nightclub, I will not give a like to that sort of... to that fighter uh, on that picture. And I mean, it takes me no time at all to just press like. So, I only try to endorse the behavior that is congruent with the culture I want to promote. So, Long story short, same thing as you shouldn't endorse... I'm trying to navigate the ground here. This is great content, by the way. Anyway, back to the topic. Just as, just as you shouldn't endorse females putting out degenerate pictures, you shouldn't endorse men doing the same. You should only endorse and promote men engaging in such a behavior that can promote a culture that can facilitate for the sort of men you want your daughter to be with. So for me, my motivations are sky high to continue to promote a wholesome and good culture. 
with gentlemen. So I don't want there to be playboys, I don't want there to be any boomer playboy mentality guys, I don't want there to be any ironic guys, I don't want there to be any new males, I don't want there to be guys who do not understand the virtue of loyalty. Those guys will still be around, of course, but I'm just going to say that those guys are not possible are not possible matches for my daughter. And I will also say to my daughter that, you know, you have to look upon a man. See, is he respected among other men? If he isn't, if he's just an attractive guy for women, then I will say this is not possible. Because a guy needs to have the respect of his peers, otherwise he's not a good man. There are guys who are very popular with women, but they're not good men. Then I will say, you know what, now you have to fight with this Laddington, this legionnaire. And then that guy, who perhaps is a Casanova, he won't be popular anymore because women obviously do not like men who get beaten up in a fight. Um, the primordial truth, plain and simple. Look at the gloriousness of this forest. That's an aesthetic forest. Reminds about the reminds me of the first scene in Gladiator when they have the battle against the Germanic tribe. Naturally, I cheer for the Germanic tribe. And now we have come to a fallen tree, which I will show you. So you will think that this is a really aesthetically pleasing video log as well. a big tree. Might make a cool thumbnail for the video. I don't know, I will decide later when I edit the video. So anyway, point of this video is that we have to ask ourselves as, as fathers what sort of culture do we promote? How do we act? Because the way we act will influence how others act and that will have a ring on the water sort of effect. So if I can influence a guy who is 20 years of age, he can influence a guy who is 10 years of age and the 10 year old guy can influence a guy who is 5 years of age. And so it continues. So everything is connected. The way we act influences others. So we have to conduct ourselves in the best possible way. So no degeneracy, no fap, no porn, uh, don't endorse that sort of industry. So rambling over, thank you for watching. XXO, boom! Whenever I make these video logs, I always come... I always get reminded of something else I was supposed to say. I sort of said it, but I want to say it again. If someone says to you, it's cool about being a playboy, then you say, okay, boomer. That's what you have to respond, because that sort of attitude, it's not... it's not applicable now. I don't find it cool in the least. Then also, I said this in a interview with... Uh, Gallant Justin Garcia, aka Master Chim, I said it a few years ago, and also speaking which, he also says congruent, and yes, I got it from him, so thank you, shout out to, to Justin. But anyway, I said, I was a bit cruder back in the day, so I said, you know what, uh, a proper Chad could rape Casanova, so and what I meant with that is that Casanova, sure he was good with women, but he wasn't 
he shouldn't be respected among men because going around seducing women is not the same as getting a good woman based upon your merits to the tribe or your reputation among other men. So there is a difference there and of course we need to be extremely clear about um, what sort of men gets um, good attention. So even if someone is very popular and is surrounded by women, do not give positive attention. Give positive attention to the guys who promote themselves as a good father, a good role model. So yeah, Dustin the Diamond for example, the UFC fighter, I, I like him. Uh, plenty of UFC fighters by the way if we're talking about that. So um, yeah, that is what is up. Now I will leave you. This might be the thumbnail by the way. Who knows? I'll see. Now a another note I also thought about, thought about elaborating upon briefly since I mentioned it. And that is, I don't believe that you should be afraid of giving clear instructions to your daughter or if you're a woman perhaps to your son about what sort of partner to avoid because as we can take the mother and son example females are better at understanding other females so a mother can see perhaps a mile away that this woman is either a good woman or a bad woman so she can say you know what son you should stay away from this woman because I can see something is something is up, something is wrong with her. She gets bad vibes for some reason. And the guy might be completely blinded by her allure, so he, he can't think clearly. So, so then it is good to have a mother who steps in and says, you know what, this is not a good choice. You you can't be with this woman. And then the father steps in and say you know what son, your mother has a good eye for these sort of things, so you should listen to her. Now the same thing must apply if a father says to his daughter, this is not a possible match for you, because this, this man is not good, because I can see it, because men can judge other men in a way that women can't. So she might say, oh, but this guy is so charming and he's so good looking, etc and so on, but then his father might know that he is a coward, that he has been fleeing from responsibility or fleeing from a fight or whatever it might be. And then he says, you know what, this is not a good idea. And then the mother will say, you know what, listen to your father here, because he's a good judge of character, he's a good judge of men. So, also speaking about boomer mentality, I do believe it's a boomer mentality to leave too much freedom to um, to your sons and daughters. Parents are there to guide you. I certainly will. My wife and I certainly will guide our children to the best of our abilities. And just as when we have a son, my wife will have a say in what sort of woman he can be with. If she notices something is really wrong with a certain girl, yeah, it's up to us to guide him in a better direction. Just the same thing with our daughter. So, now I think I have said everything I wanted to say. I get talkative here in this uh, forest. Walking in forests are good for you. It's good for your cognitive process. It gets your mind thinking. So anyway, now I will leave you. Now, thank you for watching XXO. Boom!